Yo, what's up guys, John Boogle here and it is finally here. This is probably the most requested video on my whole channel to date. Yes, Chapter 2 Moon, Empire of Cats. It's finally here and I'm gonna start by showcasing off all the treasures we got for Chapter 2 Moon. And yes, there are treasure festivals right now because of the 41 million download celebration. So make sure you go grind up those treasures. But anyways, let's hop into the treasures we got for Chapter 2 Moon. And we already have all the Chapter 1 Moon treasures superior. So make sure you got that first and then come back to these. And these are the bare minimum treasures you will need to beat Chapter 2 Moon. And as you can see, I do not have, wait for it, I do not have the cat health or the cat attack power because I wanted to showcase that it is possible to beat it without those two main treasures. So if you don't want to grind all the treasures right now, you can just get the basic efficiency wallet and cat production speed and you should be good to go. So we're not going to use pairs. We're going to use the basic, basic lineup here. And all cats are level 10, all upgrades are level 10, and if you are struggling with this lineup, you can add in uh, broad cats or any anti-red cats, because you can see that this broad cats might knock back red enemies, so that will be really helpful. If you want to put him in there, you can use him, and if you have any gotcha units that are anti-red, like, uh, I think I have one... One or two, I think I have one actually. Yeah, I have only one unit, which is anti-red on Gotcha, and it might slow red enemies, and any unit that is anti-red will help a lot, but if you want to go with the basic, you don't have any Gotcha units or any other special units, Brave Cat is perfect against this stage, and same with Whale, and these are your two main cats for this mood stage. And I'll explain the whole guide in depth when we hop into the moon stage. Alright, here we go. So if you have all the requirements, all you gotta do is follow this guide. And it's a guaranteed win. No cat food needed. And here we go. So when we started off, let's stall the enemies towards our base. And try to get our cat wallet maxed out. So we can get that extra money production speed. And have a nice stacked wallet. Alright, now bring out a UFO, but only bring out one just to clear up any large groups of enemies because it'll help us stack up our wallet way quicker than having just a bunch of walls and what you want to do is meet the boss halfway in right smack in the middle of this stage and this is where most of the fight is going to happen right here in the middle but when the rhino comes out the one horn there he is this is when you start slowly pushing the enemies back towards your base and start bringing them to your side. Alright, here we go. Here comes in the one horn. And we got our wallet maxed out. We got lots of money. And we're ready for the one horn. So start slowly stalling. And in this video, this is what happened. See, if you push too early, you are going to mess up. So make sure you let the one horn come all the way out in front of the boss. Before you start going attack mode. And there he is. He came out in front. And this is where we go offensive mode start spawning in the walls the brave cats and the whales and a tip for this do not spawn in the brave cats when not necessary so only when the one horns are out spawn in the whales and brave cats and as soon as you as soon as you have killed the one horn bring out the titan and this is the big push that you're gonna make bring out titans giraffes just bring out everything right now because as soon as you kill the one horn that's when you make your big push now you have to make sure you also don't over push it. As you can see I'm not spawning anything right now. I'm just stacking up on money. Waiting for the next one horn to arrive. And this is the time period where you do not spawn any brave cats. So you can stock up money quicker. So same thing again. We're just going to stall. And boom there's the one horn coming out again. So we're going to get ready. We're going to drag him out. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to. Take him out with the brave cats and whale cats and make the big push with the titan. So let's wait for this dude to get in, out in front of the boss. Alright, there we go. He is slowly coming in front of the boss and here we go with the big push again. Get your whales and the brave cats out. Save the titan after you kill the one horn and just start consistently pushing him back. 
and if you have a laser arp clear anything that's in the way so you can get all those hits on the one horn and boom he goes down real quick get the titan out and make your push and you want to do this three times in total and you will get a knockback so this is the second time I mean there's a small chance that we will knock back the boss in this second time but I doubt it so once the one horn comes around the third time after you kill him that is a guaranteed knockback so there he is and our titan is still alive there but he should be dead pretty soon and there we go we're back here again bring out the one horn and focus on him and then we can finally make our big big push and get a quick knockback on the boss and I do not remember exactly how much knockbacks the boss does have but it shouldn't be too much and for the third time bring out the one horn out in front of the boss and make your push with the brave cats and the whale cats and make sure you get those AOE attackers out like UFO to clean up anything else in the way so your whale cats can target the one horn and boom just like that it is super super easy it's just rinse and repeat the same method over and over again and if you time it correctly the boss should stay right there in the middle so you won't have to worry about the boss pushing you all the way back to your base and boom there it is the first knockback and like I said the third time the one horn comes around you'll get your first knockback guaranteed and from here it's easy sailing so yeah that's basically it that's all you got to do you just got to repeat the method over and over again until you kill the boss and I'm gonna speed it up now cuz you guys don't want to watch the same thing over and over again but if you do need any extra help if you somehow did not understand the method from watching it three times um, there will be extra help in the description and the pin comment so make sure you look at those if you need any extra help and yeah I'm gonna speed it up now and there we go the boss is dead and if you follow this guide correctly this is a hundred percent guaranteed win on chapter 2 Empire of Cats Moon and you'll get yourself that Valkyrie cat in no time and the requirements aren't really that bad now on to chapter 3 Moon with the boy Bun Bun yes we're gonna see him soon and that's probably the hardest beginner stage ever because people get stuck on chapter 2 moon but chapter 3 moon requires a lot more stuff than chapter 2 and 1 so get ready for that chapter 3 moon guide and video and after that yes I'm going to start stories of legend and expect crazy cat stages after chapter 3 moon and boom there we go we got the W and we're gonna showcase the rewards here if you haven't seen them already yeah that's pretty much it for this moon guide and the second battle cats video of 2019 but yeah drop a like if you did beat chapter 2 moon with this guide and subscribe if you knew we are so close to 5k we're at 4900 so yeah spam up the likes and subs let's see if we can hit 5k before we make it to chapter 3 moon <laughs> i doubt it but yeah there's all the cat levels if you wanted to see all the worker cat levels and everything yes they were all level 10 and let's upgrade this new valkyrie cat we got boom there he is and yeah if you made it this far in the video comment i got valkyrie cat with two exclamation marks in the comments below right now and i will heart your comment but yeah that's it guys it's been john boogle and see ya bun bun your next boy Nani? <laughs>